And welcome back once again. We are in North Charleston, of course, at the North Charleston Convention Center right here at the Charleston Home and Design Show. And over 100 vendors will be here this weekend, starting today all the way into the weekend. Your chance, of course, to win. One person gets to win uh, that chance at a $22,000 backyard home makeover. Now, a lot of the vendors that are here are putting out some, just literally bringing their showroom here, including Jennifer Frere with Melser Tile. And it, you know, I asked you how's business and you said <laughs> it's crazy good. It is just crazy good. It is, absolutely. We are busy, busy. Tell us about uh, your show place that's here uh, and what people can expect and then kind of where the trends are going right now with tile. A lot of decorative tile, a lot of large format tile we're seeing. Um, I've got a couple things here, just to sure. little examples, but we bought a lot of fun stuff, just mm -hmm. eye candy, if you would, um, but lots of really intricate designs that are created with these really amazing um, water jet machines that, that oh, wow. make these. That make them? Yeah. Uh, where would you put these? We're seeing them on accent walls and mm -hmm. vanity, or above vanities and powder rooms and uh, master bathrooms on mm -hmm. floors. You could do floor yeah. inlays. A lot of really would, neat would things. Would that go uh, for, for a little splash guard maybe in the sure. kitchen? Yeah, absolutely. Because that's got yeah. some grays and blacks, uh, whites, off whites in it as well. This is a little shinier than this. Tell me about the different uh, characters there. This product here is a, is a marble. It's a polished mm -hmm. marble. Um, and then they you know mixed a little, little marble pieces in there to sort of create mm -hmm. the pattern. This one here is a porcelain tile mm -hmm. looking like wood, yeah. which is another really popular trend we're seeing. Yeah, because well. I'm seeing a, a, a lot of folks installing like uh, flooring uh, that is actually tile that looks like wood. That's That's got to be crazy. It is amazing. Uh, and the, the, the way that they look, I mean, mm -hmm. you just really can't tell that it's not hard wood. Exactly. You can see some uh, that looks like redwood mm -hmm. or uh, some sort of a pine and then some sort of a starved wood as well. Absolutely. And it looks exactly like wood. And we talked also about the grout gap. Mm -hmm. It's so small, it looks like it's inlaid wood. It sure mm -hmm. does. Um, we're seeing grout joints now. They're an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch usually. Mm -hmm. um, so they're they're going away. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Uh, tell us about some outdoors, some tiles that are going on outdoors. Um, again, a lot of porcelain tiles. Um, porcelain is great for the outdoors. It's durable. It doesn't crack um, in this kind of climate that we're in. Um, large format is a huge thing that we're seeing. Um, the big 24 by 24s. Um, thicker tiles for pavers. Lots of really neat things. Absolutely. Melser Tile, that's the place to go, that's for sure. Thank you so very much. Thank I know it's going to be a very, very busy weekend for you. Joining me now with uh, switching gears a little bit, sunrooms, and you can see right 